सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी मेड अ गेट रिक्वेस्ट इन नेक्स्ट जेस आई मीन वी एडेड एन एपीआई राउट हेयर एंड वी टर्न द डेटा दैट इज दिस एर सिंपली इन दिस वीडियो वी विल मेक अ पोस्ट रिक्वेस्ट सो आई हैव डन सम थिंग्स हेयर लाइक वी हैव टू इनपुट फील्ड नाउ कॉल्ड नेम एंड एज एंड वन बटन टू पोस्ट द यूजर एंड इन दिस फंक्शन कॉल्ड पोस्ट यूजर्स we are consoling the name and age so this function is getting called when we click the button here so let me show you what what do we get when we do this so add the name and the age click post user and the name and age will be here so we will send the name and age in here using a post request so first of all let me do this let me demonstrate using this so if the request dot method wait method if it is get method only then we will call this res dot status 200 and return the json data else if if the request dot method is post then we will do i uh, then we will write the logic for posting data in this route so let me just mix as users and fine now save this and it will be fine okay now we will use fetch method or fetch api to send data using post method okay so what we have to do is do this so let's say fetch so let's add the endpoint which is slash api slash users and a few things here will be different for example we have to define the method here so it will be called as post then we have to add the body or we can also add this so we have to add headers and this header will take one param and that will be known as i mean this header will be an object yes let me do this and this takes content type and this will be known as application slash json because we are sending an object or json data the next thing it takes let me give it a comma here and it will be called as body the payload we have to set so let me make body as name comma age and it will be done so we have done the logic in the ui or on the client side so we have a method as post content type as header and body as name and age simple okay the next thing we have to do here is this we have to collect the name and age from here so say let name equals to request or rq dot body dot name same for the age so say let age equals to request or rq dot body dot age then we have to send these into the server so we can simply do res dot or before that let me store the name and age in this data array but first we have to do this so let let me make an user or call say new user or simply user and this will take the name as name comma age as age fine i mean we have done this in this format so this user will contain our name and age as an object or json so now we have to send this user using response so res dot status we will add 201 because 201 means created successfully then we have to add dot json and simply pass this user here It's simple we also need to store this user in this array so that we can return it using get request when we call the get method which is this function in the previous video i showed you how to do that so data dot push let's say user now save this and we can give this a try and let's see what happens okay so let me add my name called let me open the network tab first 
so let me add the name called let me add my name nishan age 26 click post user okay we have an error here let's see what is the error invalid json okay yes we did something wrong here so in here we have to convert the data in a string format so we can simply do json dot stringify string if i in here we can simply pass the name comma h as parameters we can remove this and it will work okay we have error here okay what is the problem stringify okay we don't need comma okay i don't think we need this either when, okay okay the thing is we should add a dot here not a comma okay now it will work name comma age now let's try this click post user and it's successful now so we have the payload as name and age if you click preview you will see the name and age now if you click this get users method or button let me uncomment this so let's see what happens let me open the console click get users and we are getting three array objects so let me try it again click post user click get users again and now you will get four so the next one is age is a string so we have to change it in a number so we can do it here simply add a number wrapper around age maybe 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 we should do it here at the place of set age so that it gets converted to a number like this now let me give it a refresh and enter the name nishant kumar and age 26 click post user it will be sent here in the users api call see the age is now a number we have no uh, quotes around it so click get users now and we will get the fourth object as nishant kumar and this age 26 now let me store this in a state so create a state here called user comma set user so this part that i'm doing currently is not necessary you can skip it so it will be an array we can simply store this user here don't need to console it so now we can simply map through it to display all the name of the user so user dot map so let's say data we can return some jsx which will be a div tag and in the div tag we will simply say data dot name is data dot age years old now save this and now if you click get users button we should see these things okay let me refresh this let me click get users so initially we will get the original array that we have here with nishant uday and sanjeet let me add a fourth name called shalish enter the age 27 or 28 click post user then click get users and the shalish is 28 years old will be here updated value from this array of data so that is how post request is working i mean post request works in nextjs so we create the name and age i mean we created these two values from request.body.name and age then we store that in a object called user then we push that user into this data and we return the new value which is user and when we click get method we are simply returning the data in json format using res.status.200 and whatnot i mean this called block so that's how we do this i mean post request in nextjs